Hey guys, what's up? It's me, Keeper the Dark Heart, bringing you more Let's Play Ratchet and Clank 3 Up Your Arsenal. In the last part, we took care of the missions and defended the Presidential Palace. In this part, we're actually going to be restoring the shields, which, you know, is necessary here. So this is our first gadget, which gets the fine bolt animation. I don't get it. But yes! The refractor will let you redirect laser beams. Just equip it and stand in the path of the laser. Hold L1 and use the left analog stick to aim the beam. So yes, yeah, so this is our puzzle gimmick for this game, the refractor. As Sasha carefully explained, we can now redirect lasers. Yeah, and we can also use this to reflect enemies, to reflect la enemy laser, enemy lasers, I should say. Come on me, I should be able to speak. But uh, yeah, this is essentially the gimmick behind this game. Why am I twisting the control stick? I don't need to. Though in the other two games, you did. So let's put our refractor back on. And also, you see those little red boxes? In the first two games, they exploded. In the third game, guess what? They also explode. Shocker, I know. But uh, yeah. Oh hey. Watch these. The enemies are kind of stupid. Case in point, they kill themselves. They are that desperate to kill us. And another interesting thing about this, come on, fire at me. Like that, you can kill enemies with their own lasers. Though you don't really get much out of it, unfortunately. Ow! Okay, why didn't I have that equipped? So yeah, that was stupid of me. So now, let's twist this here. Oh hey, I broke a box. And there we go. Oh, crap. My gun's better than yours, buddy. Don't try it. Oh yeah, you can also throw your wrench too, I forgot to mention that. Now let's get that over there. Refractor back on. Ow! Go away! Let's aim that, and that will turn on the bridge. Ta da! Shoot at me, I dare you! Come on! Sucker. Ratchet, there should be a spider symbol somewhere in that room. Use the beam to lead the spider drone over the symbol, and then zap it with the laser. So like she said, this is the gimmick here. Lure that little thing over here, that little spider symbol over there, and there you go. Puzzle solved. Not too hard. Oh yeah, one shot, okay, we'll kill them all instantly. Now you notice here, how this track is different from everything else? Well this requires something known as the Magnet Boots, which we get later, which we get at a different point in the game. Unfortunately, we can't use it just yet, so as you can expect, we will be back here. And just you know, backtracking has been a really big facet in the Ratchet and Clank games, if to obtain secrets, skill points, and of course the big bolts, whether they be gold, platinum, or titanium. Now, let's pull up this. Ratchet game. And there we go. Oh boy. Oh hey, 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 where'd you guys come from? And you guys die, that makes me happy. Yeah, I'm such a nice person, folks. Let's twist this over here. Alright. Now 
we take this laser and we direct it in here. You know, I really like how the fact you just have to stand in one point and you, all you have to do is aim it and the laser moves there automatically, defying all rules of physics in terms of light. But then who am I to judge? This is a video game, right? There we go. Hi guys! And here's another part that requires the magnet boots, but don't worry, I think they're called gravity boots, I'm not sure, but... Oh, hey! Hey, look, it's Al! Got the shields up yet? Silence! I am concentrating! What the...? That's a Quark Vid comic! Excuse me, it is a historically accurate interactive graphic novel. How can you use the city's defense network to play a video game? Simple. I bypassed the security server with a 626 hex matrix adapter and reprogrammed a graphic subprocessor. No, no, I mean, it's... Uh, uh, Clank, you speak, uh, nerd. It appears you have a feedback loop in the induction coils of your DB3 signal processor. Impossible! I ran a recursive check thumb on the signal matrix. Hey, there is a feedback loop. I don't know what happened to me with a May we borrow this vid comic? Treat it gently. It is a first edition. Perhaps this will help restore Quark's memory. Shield power restored. Okay, I don't know if it's a bad thing that I half understood what they were talking about in terms of feedback loops and whatnot, but having taken a computer science class, I kind of know, I kind of understood half of what they were talking about. <laughs> But uh, yeah, <laughs> moving on, I'm a nerd. As you can see, once you've done like all the missions that pertain to the storyline and completed that particular storyline part, you can actually go back and play these missions again for more bolts. Though as you notice, the price, or the prize, I should say, has gone down quite a bit. It's just something you can do if you want. But you know, I don't really have to. Oh hey, mine. Yeah, you don't really have to do it, but if you want, that's up to you. What the hell? Okay, that was weird. Hold circle to target multiple enemies with the spitting hydra. Release circle to fire. Um, yeah, that's basically it for this planet. We can come back anytime. Actually, I will be coming back later for, you know, more secrets and bolts. But yeah, we just have to go to the Starship Phoenix first. Yay, flying. And more flying. And flying some more. Alright, here we are. Now, you know that vid comic that we just got? Believe it or not, that has a use. How much money do I even have? Okay, three grand. I want at least ten grand before I leave, because there is an important item that I want to get, personally. Now, what do we got here? Watch and learn, Clank. This is how a real hero gets it done. Ugh, I hate his face. I really do. I never liked Quark. These are the real-life adventures of Captain Quark, the greatest superhero the galaxy has ever known. Hey, this thing on? <clears throat> Meticulously reconstructed by our crack research team with the aid of eyewitness accounts, bathroom gossip, wild speculation, and a magic eight ball. In the early days of the fifth Solarian Equinox, the Solana Galaxy was terrorized by a notorious pirate known as Captain Blackstar. Ahoy! Anybody else got a craving for fish and chips? Though still in the prime of his youth, Captain Quark was already a living legend. I was beating him up with a stick. However, no previous adventure could have prepared Quark for his encounter with the dread pirate Blackstar and his crew of... Oh, please tell me this is a typo. That's robotic pirate ghosts. 
Yes, reading wasn't your subject, eh, Professor? Right. Now we begin the interactive portion of Episode 1. Booty is in the eye of the beholder. Oh, dear. So yes, this is a new thing in this game. You get to actually play as Captain Quark through these little platforming sections. Now, if you notice in the- ow, stupid rat. If you notice in the top right corner, You just picked up an officially licensed Quark token. Collect all the tokens in the level to earn a secret prize. Bling bling, baby! The red ones are worth 10 Quark tokens. So yes, in every stage there is 100 tokens. You could- before every- when you get 100 tokens, you get a titanium bolt. Oh, ow. And when you die, you know, you just restart where you die. But, uh, yeah. As you can tell, I'm not good at these things. No, 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 no. Crap, I'm gonna have to die. Oh, hey, I got those things as I was dying. Oh, okay. <laughs> um, that's interesting. So, yes. Uh, this game, this particular section does have a checkpoint system. Ow, I should have been paying attention. Die. Stupid rat. Whoa. And thankfully, you keep all the bulk, you keep all the tokens that you've collected, so you don't have to like. No, 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 no. Get. Ow. Um. Okay, I pretty much just had to die right there. But uh, yeah. Okay, seriously, why am I failing so hard at this game? Could it be the fact that I haven't played this game in like three years? I don't know. Yet I've still had it. I don't know. Whoa, God. Because you know this should be simple. This is just a simple platform-esque stage. I don't know why I'm having so much, so much of a hard time with this. I mean, really. You die. Now that we got past that, let's not fail anymore. And another red token up here that's that can be easily missed. At least from where you're jumping. He can keep that as in there. Whoa. Don't fall in the pit, because those hurt. And you can just continuously spam the score button to punch. I mean, yeah, there's no... You can just do that the entire time. Oh, hey, we got a gun. Old timers say a giant robotic space eel haunts this ship. <laughs> what a bunch of hoop. <laughs> Press circle to fire my blaster. Hold down R1 and move the left analog stick for precision aiming. So yeah, you have a gun. On top, on top of being able to punch, you have a gun here. Now the gun is useful, but it's only limited to 20 bullets. And for every extra gun you pick up, it only restores 10 bullets. So yeah. Don't get too used to it. Though it is good for clearing out bosses. I will say that. Right, hopefully I'm not missing one, because I do not want to replay this. I've never liked this part, and I don't think I ever will. You can die. And I want that red token right there. Damn it. Whoa! Missing anything? No, I am not. So yes, if you don't kill them, oh god, the spikes underneath will. Like they'll kill. God damn it! Why am I failing at platforming? It shouldn't be that hard. Okay, good. The last token. Yep, and for our troubles, we get a titanium bolt. Alright. I really didn't want to have this bleed into another video. Oh god! Mmm, a nice juicy health upgrade. Remember, cadets, there's one in every level. So yeah, it turns out I'm gonna have to turn this into two videos. I didn't really want to, because I was doing so well. So yes, this is our boss of the area, an eel. Really, Quark? Oh, well. 
So again, this boss is pretty easy if you have the little gun. Oh damn, I'm out of ammo. And yeah, pretty much there's no real strategy other than to, you know, avoid getting hit. You know, basic strategy in the history of anything. Come on, come up here. Damn. Okay, oh, don't upgrade. Not upgrade, but oh god. Alright, come on and fire. There we go. So, as you can see, it took me way longer than it should have because I sucked so hard. And for every token you get, I, for some reason I can't... So you get 600 bolts per token in that particular ratio, and for getting all 100 tokens in a, le in a game, you get a titanium bolt. I mean, I've worked on some real junk, but this one takes a cake. Pirate, ghost, robots, I mean, what do they think, we're idiots? Hey, Professor, snap to it! <clears throat> Once again, the citizens of the Solana Galaxy owed their lives to the dauntless courage of the remarkable man behind the queue. With great reluctance, Quark accepted a meager fee for his services and promptly donated the entire sum to the Quark for Tots Scholarship Fund, a charity providing makeovers and buxom bimbos for needy people named Quark. I've got a bullshit Mr. President? Yes, I got the fruit basket, thanks. It turns out I'm allergic to prunes. Yeah, who knew? What? Blackwater City is under attack. Yes, sir, I'm on my way. The exciting, all true, right, <coughs> adventures of Captain Quark continue in episode two. Devil. It appears Quark has regained his memory. Hey, this dressing room isn't fit for a pig! What kind of shoddy production are you people running? That's him, all right. He may need a while to adjust. In the meantime, I've got a mission that's perfect for you, too. We've just learned of a prototype holographic device that can disguise the user as a Tyranoid, even allowing him to speak Tyranese. <laughs> Is it just me, or do you smell bananas? Anyway... <laughs> The device happens to be the grand prize on this week's Annihilation Nation. Check it out. One cutscene after another, folks. Tonight on Annihilation Nation, we feature an all-new Death fun. Horse. Let's meet tonight's victim. Oops, I mean contestant, Fred. Fred is a Gadgetron accountant who claims he once had a Morpho Ray go off in his pants. What a chair. Let's take a look at what he's up against. Oh, that looks fun. Doesn't look too bad of course now, not. does it? Good luck, Fred! <laughs> not Next. even a step. My god, he must have sucked. Another day, another death course. So yeah, I apologize for having to cut this video in two, folks, but you know, I don't have the 15 limit uplifted yet. But yeah, until next time, folks, we will be going into Annihilation Nation. Oh dear, this will be fun. So until next time, folks, take it easy.